Have you ever wondered about the toll station of Via Dolorosa? It is unique and thought-provoking. Christ falls just as one would. As he falls, the true spirit of Christianity amplifies itself. As he's brought back on his feet, not by supporters, they were afraid to expose themselves, he is assisted by the sympathy of the procession, by the Romans. His energy is beyond torment, he is silently enlisting people on his side. The pavement at the station is the original Roman stone road. Huge stones were laid there, the actual stones that absorbed the fall. It is right at the turn to the main street. The stones were wet with the morning drizzle and are still soaked with the energy of Christ. There is a small chapel built by the Armenian Catholic denomination of Jerusalem. The Armenians were the first nation to have accepted the Christian faith. They are the Armenian Orthodox. Some have become Catholic as well. They were already settled in Jerusalem during the week of the Passion. The community in Jerusalem is older than the stones of the pavement, older than Mary and Anne, older than the Roman Empire. The actual fall is less significant than the rising of Christ. He is raised by people who might not have known him, perhaps sympathetic Roman soldiers, perhaps onlookers, he has been generating support just by being there. That was always his power. He has made his way into people's hearts the same day he died. The chapel is dedicated to the Polish soldiers of World War II who fought alongside the Allies in Israel. It is small. It is often visited one person at a time. It carries the story that has yet to end the true spirit of Christianity. Hi, my name is Simon. The Via Dolorosa is the Latin translation of the Sorrowful Way. Every visitor in the old city of Jerusalem walks this path, regardless of which denomination they are. In your visit, use my guidance as reference. If you write me in advance, I will be happy to take you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this station.